Hello, hello there, my crafty friends. It is Candy here from SweetStamper.com, and I'm so happy to be with you here today. It is Teach Me Tuesday, and I have something super fun for you today. A little more detail than I typically do, but um, took me a lot more time to get ready for this than uh, what I do. And I was thinking the whole time, I don't do very many super detailed things, but this kind of, yeah, it, it kind of needs the detail. So I hope that uh, we will have a good crowd joining me live. And then of course you can always watch the replay. And that's the great thing about Facebook Live. Hi Beth, I'm glad you're here with me today. So we are going to be doing a pinwheel fun fold card and um, this is kind of a new fold that's out there and I will say the fold itself is not so detailed. Hi Melissa. What's detailed is the opportunity to do all the embellishment and all the fun stuff. So hi Linda, hi Michelle, I'm glad you're here. So um, I am, as I have been doing, I need to turn off my notifications. Hi Simone, is um, I've been really camping out on the celebration offerings because, you know, celebration lasts through the end of September. And so um, I want to use those things on camera as much as I can, partly to help you have ideas and inspiration on how you can use those things. Because during celebration, you earn a free item with every $50 that you spend. Some items you do have to spend $100 for in order to get them for free because they are higher end items. Um, so I'm gonna actually show you a couple of those today. So without further ado, I'm gonna go ahead. Hey, Barb, I'm glad you're here. Let's bring the camera down and let's get busy stamping. Okay, I need to have just a moment here. Let me give you something pretty to look at while I'm pulling up in my computer to make sure that I can see what you're seeing and that helps me know that I'm actually in the camera when I'm stamping because once I turn my phone in that direction, I can't see anything at all. Okay, hope you guys are having a good day here in San Antonio. Um, we had a phenomenal rain yesterday. Now, friends of ours who live another part of the city, not too, too far from us, but they got just barely a sprinkle. So um, we love, love rain. It is such a help to us always needing rain. So, okay, I'm actually in the camera, we're good. Hey, Corinne, I'm glad you are here. Thank you for sharing, and Sarah and Gail, no rain in Adkins, Gail, well, that's a shame. Um, and I am so glad I've got a friend here from New York, Michelle. Okay, well, let's get busy. Um, now that you've had close-ups of my arm, really unattractive. <laughs> Okay, so let me see what I need to do here. I think I need to pull this down a little bit. There we go. I think that's going to be a better view. So I have pre-cut and pre-scored a lot of stuff today, and I will give you, let me see if that does better on the glare. No, that didn't help. Let's see. Um, I will give you measurements for this, but it probably won't be until tomorrow because I'm just kind of crazy busy with deadlines. Today is the end of the month and I got a lot of things that I had promised people I would get in the mail. And so I'm working hard to fulfill those deadlines. Okay, what we're going to do is a pinwheel card and I am camping out on this paper, which I thought I had over here. Um, is the beautifully penned designer series paper. It is absolutely gorgeous. It's free with a $50 order. And you get actually three different designs and you get four pages of each, which is a little different than our typical offering. And uh, so that means that you have a lot of opportunity to do multiples of things. I love the fact that this is a very, very, um, all neutral color palette so you can add however much or little pops of colors that you want to add so look at to see if i could find i did a really swift project with it last week 
course I can't lay my hands to it at the moment. So we will move on. The nice thing about this is you can add any color and I'm going to go back to this Magenta Madness today. I love the fact that this is super, when you have a super bright color with this black and white paper, it really makes everything pop. Yes, this is the stamp set that I'm gonna be using that has the dies with celebration. So the stamp set, I think it's like a $23 stamp set. And it has all these cool, awesome stamps, excellent greetings. And then you can get all of these dies for free. Now the dies are free with a $100 order, but they are really excellent dies. I'm gonna use quite a few of them today. And that's where I was kind of getting into a lot of the detail of decorating this card. Now let me grab my glue because I wanted to get a new bottle of glue for this and I'll show you why. I'm gonna recommend that when you make a pinwheel tower card and you are gonna to wanna to make one of these, I can just tell you right now, you're gonna to wanna to make this fancy fold, fun fold. It's really a fun fold. Um, this is, you can only get one of these out of a single sheet of cardstock. So this is, you know, this is gonna take a little more cardstock and because of that, it's gonna be a heavier card. It will still go for a single stamp provided you don't add too much other stuff to it. So, um, you know, if you're gonna mail, uh, you can still mail for a single stamp. And honestly, when you have a really flash card, I don't think it's a, I don't think it's a burden to, um, to have to add a little bit of extra postage. So I am scoring in four different places and I will give you, um, because yeah, this is what I have right now and that's just not really gonna work. So I'm gonna type it up for you and all of that good stuff. So what we are essentially doing is we're going to create a little um, cube here. And that, in order to get that to stick, you want to use a really strong adhesive. And my best recommendation is to use the green glue. Um, liquid glue, call it what you want. However, you're gonna use quite a bit on this card. I think it's the best thing to use on everything. And this is near the bottom of the, I'm near the end of this one. So what I like to do when I'm near the end is to use the base and then I can spread this out, which makes life really, really simple. But as you move forward, you may want to do, you know, to have the little skinny and you can't get the skinny. Once you get near the end of one of these green glues, you can't get the skinny tip it won't flow out of there, but it'll flow really easily out of the bottom. Now, all I'm gonna do is come all the way to that last, um, I'm gonna come to that last fold, and I'm going to fold that over and press that in, and that is going to create my little cube. So that is kind of the basis of this card right there. And that is a five, and three quarters by four and a quarter. So that's why you can't get two of these out of a single piece of cardstock. And then you're gonna use those other pieces for these little three wings or you know the sides of your, um, of your little pinwheel. So we are going to glue these all along the sides of our little um, cube. And like I said, you can, you know, you can use the bottom of your green glue. Sometimes I think people throw these away before they're really finished. And I don't want to do that. I want to get every last little bit of glue out of there. So this is the easiest way to attach the little um, arms of your windmill, your pinwheel, um, or the little, um, the little, uh, you can call them arms, you can call them wings, call them whatever you wish. Uh, now I'm going to put another one over, let's see, I need one here, so let me put glue there, and you really just kind of have to keep folding this and refolding it, and when you do that, you kind of break down the fibers a little bit, and that's going to make it easy to work with, and it's going to also make it easy for the person who receives this to be able to, um, no, that's not gonna, that's not very good, to uh, open and close it easily. So you can see how I've already got three sides of my pinwheel working. 
So Melissa, you have made this card. It is fun. It's super, it is definitely a fun fold. It is super, super fun. So now I'm gonna go with this one, and now I'm starting to get down to the very, very end of my glue. Again, you do not want to use just regular seal. You could use your Seal Plus, but you know, it's nice on this to be able to, you know, if you don't get it just straight, to be able to wiggle. And um, the wiggle, wiggle room and the wiggle ability is one of the best things about your green glue. Now, having said that, I'm gonna put this away and I'm gonna use my new one because now I need to be able to use the fine tip. So there is my pinwheel, done. Now comes the fun part. <laughs> so I have four sides here that are wide and four sides here that are narrow. Now, my recommendation is that you decorate them all because that's the fun. That's the best fun of card making. Not so much the assembly, but the putting together. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to put four of these dark panels on first. This is the easy, easy part. And of course you could use the, um, obviously you could use this lighter. That looks super cute too but I wanted to have that stark kind of dramatic contrast of basic gray with the, um, this is Magenta Madness. This would also look really good with the polished pink, which is our in color this year that's pink. This is the one from last year and it's called Magenta Madness. It's super, super bright. And um, when you're wanting a really strong contrast, a really strong punch of color, Magenta Madness is the ticket. So again, I'm just folding over and over. And one of the really cool things about this card is it, oh, it displays beautifully. It's so strong because it has so much cardstock that it will just stand up for you on your counter, on your mantle, on your desk, wherever you want to put it. Um, and, and that's a really nice thing. A lot of times our cards, you know, they start to kind of uh, fall down after a little while. This one has so much cardstock, it's going to stand really nicely. So there we go. You can see how this is coming together. Now what I'm opting to do is I am going to put a little bit of color on some of these. Did I not? Oh yeah, there's my fourth one. Okay, so I have four panels for each one. And so what I'm going to do here is I'm gonna do a little bit of coloring. Now I have Magenta Madness, and then I also have uh, Granny Apple Green. And that is a really, really nice color combination. Hey, Susan, you just got in from Iowa. Well, welcome, welcome to our little, um, fun fold card making session for today. Now, what I found when you uh, start adding color to these, and let me just grab some paper. Um, well, you might think I have, already have paper, and I do. But um, when you use blends, they will bleed through. And so I'm gonna put this underneath me so that it doesn't bleed through to um, to my grid paper because I wanna keep using that grid paper. Now, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna add a little bit of this, um, this is the dark granny apple green and, yeah, I'm in camera, okay. Um, what I like to do with this is these little kind of buds are so light and they're so, they're so small and I wanted to have a little bit of extra green. So what I decided to do was make the center of these flowers green, just to give a little bit of contrast, because I'm gonna tell you, when I start adding this magenta madness, I mean, it is like in your face, really bright pink. And I wanted to have a contrast. To me, uh, the contrast is what helps your design really come together. And uh, you need something that breaks up the sameness of a single color. So all I'm doing here is outlining my beautifully penned, isn't that a great name for these, um, 
this design. And this is the um, designer series paper that is free during celebration with a $50 order. And that's amazing. You know, you get 12 sheets of this beautiful paper for free with a $50 order. And um, you know what's great is uh, we also have a phenomenal joining special right now. And uh, the reason I'm gonna mention that is because you would place a $50 order and you would pay $50 plus shipping and tax. If you were a demonstrator, you would place that $50 order, but you would get a 20% discount. So instead of paying $50, you would only be paying $40. Now you still have to pay your tax and shipping, but let me tell you, then you get your free items on top of your discount. So, and your, your free items are based on the retail, not the discounted amount. So, you know, if you haven't yet joined the Stampin' Up! family, I think you should. Um, you have nothing to lose, you know? I mean, if you, you know, don't meet the requirements to stay active, you just go back to being a customer. Boom, done, that's it. What do you think about that? Is that not bold contrast? Now you see what I did? So this does definitely bleed through, but look how pretty, look how pretty that is going to be on there. So I'm gonna go ahead and add this one. I'm so glad that you have made three of these already, Susan. These have been kind of taking the stamping world by storm. And I thought, well, you know, sometimes we're a little bit reticent about taking on something new. And one of the things I like to do here um, on my Facebook page is I like to demystify. I'm a quick and easy girl. I like things to be simple and straightforward. So that's kind of the way I approach my stamping. Notice here, I only did one set of flowers. To me, if I did all of these, it would be just too much. So by doing just one set of flowers, it gives them more presence, in my opinion. Now I'm gonna do one more here, and then we're gonna see uh, where we go, because I don't wanna spend too much time just coloring on camera. It is relaxing, but I also don't want to bore you because, you know, frankly, watching somebody else color, it's not nearly as relaxing as doing it yourself. So again, I'm just adding some little bits of Granny Apple Green, and this is the dark blend. You could use either one. I love the fact that our blends come in pairs because it really takes the guesswork out of blending. Um, going back to my um, mention of the um, starter kit special during celebration, there are a number of um, bundles from the holiday book that you can get for free when you purchase the starter kit. And I say purchase the starter kit because that's really what you do is you go in to uh, join the fun on my, on my um, online store and you just start placing an order. And when you do, you have, you go up to $125, but you only pay 99 and you get free shipping. So you pay 99 plus tax. They, you know, Stampin' Up! can't pay your tax bill for you. Uh, but they do give you free shipping on that. You also get a free paper pumpkin kit, which is phenomenal value as well. And then you become a part of the Stampin' Up! family. And that means that you have a greater relationship with Stampin' Up! You're gonna hear from them more. You're gonna get access to things early, uh, upcoming catalogs. You get, you know, sometimes months before everybody else does, at least, you know, weeks and weeks, at least a month, sometimes even more than that. Uh, you get the opportunity to earn things for free. You get all kinds of stuff from Stampin' Up. You also get to be part of my Southern Sweet Stampers team of demonstrators. And we are a pretty awesome bunch. We are a positive, friendly group. Um, we are connected through email. We're also connected through a pretty amazing Facebook group. And we run creative challenges there. We run 
all kinds. We have a prayer um, thread every week, which I really appreciate. Uh, Peggy is sometimes on here, and she actually heads that up for us. And uh, keeping track of all of the prayer requests, making sure that everybody gets prayed for, is supported, uh, is one of the super important things we do. We, we give back to our communities through our making a difference. We do all kinds of fun things. So if you are not yet a demonstrator, I think you should really consider becoming a part of my team. Hey, Diana, I'm glad you're here today. Okay, so that's all the coloring I think I'm going to do. What I'm going to do here is I think I might, yeah. I think just for variety, uh, because we have so many panels, you can actually do something different on each one. Having said that, you know, you don't want it to get too, too busy. You want to have some kind of cohesiveness. This is super cute with any of the celebration papers. You know, you could do this with the deer, the peaceful prince with the deer. You could do this with the playful penguins. Oh my goodness, that would be adorable, making all kinds of cute little scenes. And uh, hey, Susie, I'm glad you're here. And yes, cheering for Peggy and hey, Betty. So yeah, I've got some team members here and um, um, Betty is part of our team and Susan's part of my team. Let me see who else. Let me just go into these comments. Sarah is part of our team. And let's see who else is a Southern Sweet Stamper here. Uh, so that's the name of my team, Southern Sweep Stampers, because we practice Southern style hospitality. That means we welcome people and we make them feel right at home. Now, this is what I have so far. I'm going to add some things now. Remember I told you about those dies? This is what took me a while. So I've been playing with these dies and doing fun. So I went ahead and cut those out. I don't wanna have to do that on camera. That takes way too long. And this is how I'm going to do um, a little bit of stamping to put my message in. I made some extras because I wasn't totally sure how I was going to do that. Now, again, because there's so much thickness here, I'm not going to add dimensionals. What I am going to add, though, is these little guys, when I cut them out, I did add some adhesive sheet to the top piece to make it a little bit easier for these to adhere. So if you've never used the adhesive sheets before, they're really reasonable. I think it's like maybe $8, maybe even less than that. And it gives you a ton of these sticky sheets. And you just put that on the back of your cardstock, and then you can run it through on a punch or a die cut, and it's then like a sticker. And it's really brilliant and makes really quick work out of this type thing. So you see how I want that to sit right on top and I don't wanna to have to be adding a bunch of liquid glue. So look at that. Look at that, ladies and gentlemen. You see how that pops? Now my color scheme has increased from just magenta madness and my black and white. Now I've also incorporated some um, so saffron. I love so saffron with magenta madness because I think it calms it down and really kind of helps make it shine in a greater way. Now I've got two of these and we're going to kind of see where we think we should add these. Let me get rid of all these little guys. And like I said, you just have to take your, um, your pick a tool and pick up a little end from your adhesive sheet and then it just you just remove the backing. So then you have essentially a dry glue on here and it makes life so simple. Did I do that right? No. Hmm, I think that goes there. There we go. Now I got it right. Sometimes I have to kind of twist it around a few times. Okay. So that, if you don't have these dies, again, these are free with a $100 order. And um, the stamp set that coordinates is actually part of the um, annual catalog. And it is very much an all occasion stamp set, has flowers. Now I'm making these super bright, but you could make these in deeper colors. I just finished a class, my cards with a twist for August. 
um, used this exact set of stamps and these dies, and we did more of fall colors. So I did some of these flowers in browns and um, Cajun crays, and they're equally lovely. So these flowers can go in a lot of different directions and give you kind of, you know, whatever season you are in. Now, these don't have a, um, ooh, these don't have a, um, a second piece to them, but we also have some leaves that are doubled. So we have the solid leaf and then, and this is granny apple green. Now to get a little bit of a contrast with my granny apple green, I pulled in some old olive. Granny apple green is super bright. Old olive is a darker counterpart to granny apple green. So look at that. You see how easy that makes these to stick? That, my friends, is a little bit of magic. Boom. Now you see how much, you see the difference between this leaf, let me pull it up, and this leaf. When you add that second layer, look at the depth that you gain and just the variation so that I'm really building some nice pieces to put into my card. Now, I'm almost done here. And um, like I said, this is a lot more detailed than I would typically do on camera. But I would do this kind of detail for, you know, like one of my kids' birthdays or something like that. I wouldn't make like 50 of these. <laughs> this is not a... Um, this kind of detail, at least for me, is not something I'm going to mass produce, you know, like 25 of or something, but not because it's costly, because it's not, this is just, I mean, these are scraps of cardstock that I'm using, but it is a little labor intensive, but you see how this makes even putting them together so much quicker and so much tidier. Oh my goodness, if you had to do liquid glue on all of this, Ooh, you would have um, you'd have a little bit of a mess. So this just takes all that mess out. Again, these are the adhesive sheets. They are in the catalog on the page with our adhesives. And then last but not least, so I can kind of put it all together when I'm ready. I don't know that I'm gonna use three of these, but um, I'm gonna use at least one. This is those tailor-made tags that I absolutely love. And this is one of those die sets that doesn't actually have uh, a stamp set counterpart. They're just dies. And they're absolutely brilliant. I use them a lot in my, um, in my um, memory keeping. Okay. So let's see how we're going to get on here with this. So I think what I'm gonna do is, now I already have that here, so maybe I will just leave this page. You know, that already, I think I'm gonna put this here. I think that's where I'm going to stamp an, uh, a little greeting. So let's come in here. This is a narrow um, tag. And I actually thought this would be a really flash thank you card. So let's pull in my thank you. And there's my block. Isn't that a pretty font? Oh, I forgot. I'm supposed to be stamping upside down for you guys. And here I'm doing everything right side up today. Here we go. Now, I do want to make sure that I am positioned correctly. Yes, see, I stamped that on the grid paper to make sure that my, um, my what do you call it, my, um, my sticker is matching my, um, my sticker is matching the stamp. In other words, I didn't attach the, um, the sticker crooked. Now, one thing I do like to do sometimes, I, have, I think I've used this thank you, I'm sure I have. Sometimes with a brand new stamp, I like to take just an emery board and just buff it a little bit because um, in the manufacturing process, sometimes there's a little tiny bit of residue. Let me grab a chamois. 
once you do that, you do want to clean it with your chamois to make sure there's none of that little, um, you know, the little sandpapery bits from your um, from your emery board. Okay, so now I'm going to do thank you right here, and I have just enough room there to sign that. Isn't that cute? And I do think, although I don't want to be putting a bunch of um, uh, embellishments on here that are gonna cause it to bulk up, I do think I could probably put a wee bit of ribbon there and get away with it. Ay, so, ay, 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 Lord have mercy. Look what I just did. You see, I just committed one of my personal faux pas, my personal pet peeves. Okay, Candy, where are they? I need some of these. You know that Tuxedo Black ink, it does dry very quickly, but I just re-inked that before I got on. Place the cut flowers on the panels without the color all black and white. Yes, I think that is the direction we're going to go, Corinne. Let me get rid of this black ink because <laughs> I just did a major boo-boo. I just did what I always teach not to do, and that was to put this on without having checked that I was dry. And you have to particularly be careful mindful when you're using black ink on white cardstock. So I'm going to hit this once more. This is just an alcohol prep pad and I usually keep these. What I like about these is these are just from my from my grocery store. You can get them from your um, um, you know any of your pharmacies. But I like them because they're nice and flat and so I typically will keep a few of those in my toolkit because then they're handy ready uh, they dry super fast, and I don't have to worry about trying to hunt them down. So we'll restock that. Okay, back here, let's now put, let's close the black stamp pad. <laughs> and although I could like stamp some flowers on there, there's already a lot going on here. So I'm going to let the eye calm and not be, um, not be drawn into yet more flowers. So let's, while this is drying, let's add my little reinforcement to my get it right side, my reinforcement to my little tag. And then we will try once again. And what I'm going to do this time is I'm going to first of all press that down into my grid paper a bit. And then when I put it down here, I'm not gonna go smearing it with my fingers. <laughs> I'm gonna avoid that white and just let that sit a bit. Okay, now let's come over here. This is where Corinne was talking about. And this is where, you see, a little bit too much of that. Yeah, that adhesive. Okay, let's see what we can do with some of these pretty, pretty flowers. I kind of like that. Let's see what we can do there. Hmm. Let's see, what do we think? I think that looks pretty good. What do we think? Although, you know what, the leaf shouldn't be going there. So let's put this, let's put this little guy right up near the top. And then let's tuck in the leaves underneath. So I'm using just a little bit of this because I think I got a little carried away with my green glue. One of my personal, another pet peeve. You're gonna find out all the pet peeves I have. <laughs> and that is when we end up with green glue going everywhere. Mm, let's see. It's just gonna have to do. Probably not my best placement ever, but I think it's gonna have to do. You know, I don't wanna put a lot of embellishment, but I am wondering if we could just put 
you know, the rhinestones aren't super, um, if I use some of these little ones, I think they're fairly flat. I just want a little bit of shine. Let's see if we can just do a little bit of shine right there. I think that looks sweet. Okay, now let's try one of these over here. And I think this is going to beg for a little bit more of shine. So let's try this little guy here. And let's see if we can put another couple of rhinestones. I don't think it's gonna bulk it up too, too much. Here I started at the beginning saying, oh, we're not gonna bulk this up. And of course, here I am doing just what I said I wasn't gonna do. But you know, this is where it gets really, really fun on decorating these. So I think, yeah, I don't wanna do that. I think that is where I'm gonna put another message. And I think I'm not gonna put thank you on there. I think I'm just gonna have more room to write, which is just fun. I think that is going to give me a chance to write a little bit more. Or, oh, I just had another idea. See, this is why I like to do this on camera. I wonder if I do that there and then do that there. Then it has a little bit more presence. I kinda of like that. So let's go ahead and put this guy down. And this is what I mean, you know, you can kind of go hog wild on the decorating because you have so many panels. You know, typically with a card, we just have the front and we have the inside, but with this, you just kind of keep going. So we're just gonna keep going. So let's do this. And let's do again, I just, like those little, where those little holes are, yeah, you can have the white showing through, but I think they do kind of beg to have a little bit of bling. Whoopsie, that one came off. Let's put it back on there. Press, let me pull this. Yes, I do have, you know, the only, the only leaves in this die set, Corinne, are this large leaf, and then there is a small one, but you stamp it first and then you cut it out. And I didn't do any of those when I, I didn't have the uh, presence of mind to do that when I was prepping for this. There we go, I kinda like that. And then we go here, and now we're gonna go here, and now we're gonna go here. That's gonna look good. I like that. I like that a lot. What are we thinking, ladies and gentlemen? We don't have any gentlemen on at the moment, but you know, in the in the replay, we might have we might have husbands watching. We might have some guys watching. We never know. So we'll we will make room for them. Let's do this. And let's do Another one of these. I like these little guys. They're kind of useful because that kind of gives a little bit of balance there. And let's do, oh, cutting a leaf off. I, why did I not think of that? Do I have one more? Oh, I have one more. That's a great idea, Corinne. Let me try that. Okay, let's get our three little guys going here i'm not going i'm going to exercise restraint i'd love to put a big rhinestone there but i think it's going to add too much bulk so i'm going to leave that off that is stuck to my pick a tool how am i doing on time oh i'm doing actually okay on time i love that i love that and then here and then here and i'm actually there i'm actually done so if I wanted to cut, let's just try this because um, we have an extra leaf left over. I had actually done one of these in case I wanted to use this on a panel. You know, I could have done something like that. That would have looked good too. Um, and then put a flower like right in the middle of it. That looks really cool actually. Hmm. You know what, this is still wet. Let's just let's just live dangerously and let's pull this little baby up let's 
see if I can do this without totally marring my card. This is when candy starts kind of not leaving well enough alone because the idea is just keep firing. Okay, let's try this little guy here. And let's put him down. I like, you know, we have so much pink and we have so much basic gray bordering on black that I think this green really kind of helps um, bring everything into focus in a very good way. Let's use the one we've already got glue on because that other one we might use for something else. So let's put this like that and then Let's try, let's see what happens if we cut this leaf. Corinne has a great suggestion here. So let's see if we can cut this leaf. Let's use the gluey one. I think I ripped that when I pulled it up. Let's try one of these leaves and let's see what happens if we add it either we could add it here to this little flower, like so. That's kind of sweet. The other place we could add a leaf is here. That's kind of nifty. And then we could add another one over here and just leaf this out more. But I think I like them better with the little pink flowers. Oh, looky there. Oh, I like that. I like that a lot. Okay, I'm not paying attention too much to um, to the um, comments. So if you guys have another suggestion, I like that a lot, Corinne. Thank you for suggesting that because I think it's going to be just the ticket here. Let's see if I can lift the edge. I didn't put a ton of adhesive on this. Aha, look at there. There's an edge that I can pull that up and pop that in. Oh, I like that a lot. And then we have this one. I think we have enough green there. This one, we could add just a wee bit of leaf, a little bit of leafiness. Let's see. Let's see what happens if we add a little bit of leaf. Let's see if we can add a little bit of leaf. I like that. I think it kind of finishes it off. What do we think? That's my gluey mess one, inky mess one. I like it. And then what's gonna happen is when we display this beauty, it's gonna have so much interest on every single page. And that's really what we want. I like it. We got a little bit of the green on each panel. And there is where I'm going to put my reading. So that is it, ladies and gentlemen, uh, our Teach Me Tuesday for the very end of August, and we have a pinwheel tower card. Let's see if I bring this up, if you can see it a little bit better. I'm not sure. I think that it's really, really lovely. I will also hold this up when I am, um, when I come back to say goodbye to you. So that is it for today. Again, this is the last day of August and we are quickly approaching. Um, September starts tomorrow and the end of September is the end of celebration. And so that will be the last opportunity, end of September, not today, but end of September, to get these wonderful dies for free, to get this wonderful designer series paper for free, and also to um, join my Southern Sweet Stampers team and you would get a bundle from the holiday catalog for free. Not all of them, but I think there's nine that you can get. Um, so lots of cool things that you can get for free and that's the joy of celebration. I hope you like my color scheme. Uh, I think this is looking really pretty on camera. And I hope you like my pinwheel tower card. And I will have um, an inspiration sheet for you probably tomorrow. And that will have uh, the dimensions for you. 
And some of you are already making these cards, you know, they're, uh, they're out there and um, they're, like I said, they're kind of taking the stamping world by storm. So I thought, okay, it's time for Teach Me Tuesday. Let's do a fun fold that has a lot of, a lot of pizzazz. So that is it for today. Um, this is also the last day for my August host code orders. So if you need to place an order and you don't have a demonstrator, I have a host code for you. And uh, that, gate, uh, that gives you gifts from me in addition to all the cool gifts that you're getting from Stampin' Up! right now. So that's it. I'm going to love you and leave you. I will be here Thursday for simple and stepped up stamping. So today was definitely not simple, although the fold itself is pretty simple. Uh, we did a lot of flash embellishment and um, kind of vamping everything up, but we will do something super simple on Thursday and then we'll step it up. And that is another fun time. So I will see you here at same time, same place on Thursday. In the meantime, take care and God bless.